What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex Pete. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode of Poor Minds. Where a drunk mind speaks so though. You know, how did we come up with that intro? I really don't. I don't remember. Know. I don't know. I just think... We just said like it one over, day, and it just like and then stuck. It just stuck. Yeah, because like I don't ever remember us being like, it's okay, like the this unofficial is unofficial. Poor mind slow. I mean, it's the official now. It's official now. It's official. Okay. Like the girls be like, it's your girl Dre and Nicole. Like they know, they know what we gonna say every time. The little tag. Like, I mean, that's how we start the sheet off. That's yes. How we keep it off. Well, <laughs> the girls is looking good today. Period. It's you know, for me, y'all, I had to bounce back. Literally. First of all, I came back. I'm still I'm still talking about my trip because I'm still shook. Me and Mr. Cabo, y'all know that's my dog. Mr. Like Cabo. me and Mr. That's my dog. Like, so anyways, but I came back, my wig was gone, lashes was gone, everything. everything. I was discombobulated last week, but I'm back, bitch. I got my hair done. Shout out to Barb. Y'all know I got the Emerald Goddess hair in. Yes. And then let me say this. I love my lash tape. You know what's crazy is like she doesn't know what I do or like really? what no like I don't we don't be talking That's, she don't have like she don't she ain't never seen your Instagram I either. don't follow her you ain't never no her? no because this is the thing I want I just want to see how people treat me mm. and see if the and she gives me amazing service does my lashes bomb every time and I swear by her like mm -hmm. I love her she don't even know I just be walking in like hey girl hey girl, what's up? hey girl but yeah she does really really good so I got my lashes done this morning so if you're in Atlanta make sure you. Have Hit up Barb to get your hair done, mm -hmm. and hit up Jay Lily to get your lashes done. Her um Instagram is J A I underscore L I L L Y. She's bomb. My lashes look good as fuck. I just feel like I'm back, baby girl. I had to go back to my old lash girl to get my lashes done. Why don't you go to my girl? It's, I mean, I wanted to, but she didn't have no availability, and you know, I had wanted to get my lashes done before I had left to go to Vegas. But um, mm -hmm. yeah. So I just thought I went back to her just this time to get my lashes done or whatever. They look good thank you the girl i had went to before that i was trying to go to i can't go to her no more why she be telling me all her business what you mean i like the little tea a little bit like, this is my thing when i go to get my lashes done for me it's supposed to be like a moment of relaxation okay i see like, what you're saying i'm chilling i might try to take a little quick one you know what i mean get a little nap in i can't do that if your ass keep talking to me mm. and then on top of that it's like this i could see if like I had been coming to you to get my lashes done for a while, so we done built a rapport. Like now I have a relationship. Cool, yeah. So now you telling me your tea. It was my first time ever getting my lashes done by her. What was she telling you, bitch? Girl, she was telling me, and I ain't gonna say who it is. <laughs> I ain't gonna do it like that. But she was like, yeah, she was like, girl, my nigga, he finally moved in because he finally like left his baby mama for good. Now, see? But we had been fucking with each other for some years. She was like, and we just went. She was like, girl, I got all these TVs in my house right now. And I'm like, why you got a whole bunch of TVs in your house? And she was like, girl, because we had went over to his baby mama house and took all the TVs because she put him on child support. You know what? And she was supporting that? <laughs> yeah. Now, see, that's not in our ministry. So like, you know that you didn't need to go she back. She was like, and she'll be real mad if she knew I was over there too while she was at work. <laughs> she was probably doing your lashes like, mm -hmm. <laughs> y'all. Mm -hmm. She was spilling all the oh fucking tea. Oh my god! And I just said, you know, like that poor lady when she get home, she ain't gonna have no TV. And you know? and you know what? What is she a listener like? That's where the fuck my TV's at, <laughs> dirty bitch. She know now. Not she she know, know now. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Damn. Like, yeah, That's what the fuck my TV's is. It was funny though because it's just like it's so crazy to me how people be like that when you first meet them. Yeah. Because I think that I'm so private. Like I'm not going to tell you well, I think this when I first meet well, you. Well I'll say this. I think you have that same quality as I do. I think we make people feel comfortable. Yeah. So a lot of times people because remember when we first met a lot of y'all ask how we met. We've told this story a million times but I know a lot of y'all are new listeners but we met in the club we were bartending together the strip club the, to be exact yeah and it was just like um, a lot of the girls that were there used to always come and tell me all of their business and I just yeah. thought it was so weird and it was the same thing with her like people would just come up to us and I'm telling nah, y'all people, people be like yeah cause too. my mama got an abortion when she was 11 and I was like damn that was my little brother <laughs> and I'm like hold on bitch slow down what's your name again yeah people do have the tendency to do that a lot when it comes to us and I mean I guess that's a good thing like that's an endearing quality I guess that people feel like they can talk to you and 
to yeah, that's business, a good quality that business and stuff. So yeah, girl. So I'm about to start going to your girl though. Yeah, she's bomb. This- she's she's quiet. She got the music playing. Like you know what's so crazy? We were listening to like old Drake stuff this morning. Mm-hmm. Like we were listening to like his old stuff, mm-hmm. and you know she don't say nothing. She just gets my lashes done, asks me what I need. She don't give me no problem. Uh-huh. She's always on time, very professional, and um. I was listening to Drake's old stuff. And what was crazy to me is like, I'm so glad that trend of how people used to rap is over. Like, what you mean? Nikki said a line. Remember what, what was that bar she had? She was like, I'm a star sheriff badge. <laughs> <laughs> and we was like, bro, this shit hot. This shit hot. This shit hard as fuck. Like, what did Chris say? I'm going up balloons. <laughs> like, nigga, we was really jamming that shit. I'm not gonna lie though, that Nikki song was hard. What song was that? Uh, I'm a star, Sheriff Bad. It was like that bet, 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 bad I am. You know, that it was that one. Oh, then because I'm bad at it. <laughs> yes. But I'm like, why like did you bitches at the ring? Them bars was no more though. That's what I'm saying. It was just really weird. Like it was like is she it's going down basement. basement. Like why did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> we thought that shit was making a point, bitch. <laughs> it's going down, basement. I'm a hoe, Drea. <laughs> oh, oh wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Nasty, how you always gotta take it too far. <laughs> But no, it was just funny because I was like laughing in my head because I'm like, dog, they really used to rap like that. Like that was like the trend in rap nah, at the it time. Really was, like, so, but I don't remember Drake rapping like that. He said one bar like that. Uh, I don't remember exactly what to he me, said. He's been rapping the same, like. But I'm not gonna out. lie, he was singing his ass off. He always be singing. Oh, we not gonna get into that. Nigga. He gonna he gonna sing something. But anyways, sing. what you been up to? This so past week. Give I, us an update. I went to Vegas mm-hmm. for a few days Um, this past weekend. And it was fun. Mm-hmm. You know, like a quick little getaway. But you know, per usual, it always be some shit with these niggas. Mm. Oh, so you went out there with a guy? Is that what you're saying? I mean, no. Oh, but right. Okay. I ran into... You ran into somebody out there. Yeah. And it was... Uh, I love Vegas, but I'm not going to lie. It's too hot right now because honestly I learned my lesson I'm not going on a vacation with a wig no more bro yeah. I was literally in the middle of Cabo taking off my wig bro I'm not doing that shit no I more for me yeah as far as vacation hairstyles braids is like my go to braids from now because on I feel like yeah trying to have your hair like this because I kept having a flat iron my hair so yeah I leave right now it was just a mess too much it's too much it work too much going on but yeah you know it was a quick little fun little trip mm-hmm. but I'm glad to be back though. yeah yeah. Um, but what did you do? I've been chilling this week. Uh, like I said, I had to get myself back, uh, revive myself. I've been chilling. I went out the other night um, with one of my friends, and I had a good time. I feel like I never go out. Mm. So for me to just like get dressed up and get out the house, because it's crazy, because people think we always outside. I'm really a homebody. Mm-hmm. Like, So I really just been at home, you know, planning another trip with Mr. Cabo. <sighs> But I mean, not you and Mr. Cabo about to be outside. <laughs> we about to be again. outside, but... I'm coming this time. Y'all ain't about to leave me. Okay, again. we got you. We got you. But I'm also going... Don't forget, it's Big Papa is still Big Papa, bitch. I feel like I'm dating right now. And I like... I like it. I'm having yeah, a good time. you're supposed to. I feel like that's what dating is. Like, mm. you're supposed to date multiple people. That's what dating is. Yeah. I feel like if you dating one person and to me you're not doing it right exclusive may the best nigga win right okay it's like if it's only one nigga y'all exclusive in my opinion Mm. well yeah i mean you gotta make them think that they the only one i mean but if that's the only nigga you're dating like if that's the only person you going on dates with and you chilling with and talking to then technically technically it is right 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 okay so what's up y'all it's your girl lex p and it's your girl dre and nicole and y'all know i keep that drink up in my cup now Mm -hmm. we got that vz in our cup today you know what i'm saying so it never hurts to add some vitamins antioxidants into the mix vz is a hard seltzer Mm -hmm. but it's also low-key kind of good for you yes it has a lot of antioxidant vitamin c and acerola cherry Mm -hmm. in it which is a super fruit that Mm -hmm. has 30 times more vitamin c than an orange with vz you can enjoy a refreshment now with antioxidant vitamin C. 
So they got the black cherry lime, strawberry kiwi, blueberry pomegranate. And my actual favorite is, you know, they came out with a little lemonade line. Yeah, I love the lemonade line. And I would have to say the strawberry lemonade is my favorite. That peach be hitting, bruh. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do is you're gonna go to busyheartseltzer.com backslash poor minds and find out where you can get your busy on. You know what I'm saying? Must and it's be, only 100 calories. And you must be 21 and older. Got Don't to be. be. We way older than that. Right, right, right. Okay, so let's get into these motherfucking these topics. topics. So the first topic I wanted to talk about, somebody actually sent this to me because they wanted to know what's the difference between applying pressure, you know, that's what the girls say nowadays. They want mm -hmm. their nigga to apply pressure versus somebody like harassing you. Like, you doing too much. I don't like this. Like, so how do men know the difference between, okay, I'm harassing this girl or you applying pressure to let her know, like, nah, I want you. I think that you know. I think niggas be knowing. Like, it's a, it's an obvious difference between, you know what I mean, you trying to talk to somebody and them giving you that same energy back. Mm -hmm. Them reciprocating the energy. If you constantly always hitting somebody up or always calling somebody and contacting them and they never contact you back or they never text you back or right, take forever text you to first. Take, or take or take forever to text you back. Because mm -hmm. to me, that's an indication that somebody not interested either. Right. If somebody is taking all day to text you back, no nigga that I like, I never take all day. Bro, to text I see you them back. three dots. I'm like, hey, I see you texting me. <laughs> right. What's up? What you about to say? Because right. I'm here. You want me to come outside? What's right. up? But the niggas so that, you right, you right. Right, but the niggas <laughs> that I'm not that interested in, they be texting me and stuff. It be like it's no sense of urgency. It be like, oh, I can get back to him whenever mm -hmm. I get a chance. Okay, so I feel like this. I always feel like somebody has said this the other day, and they were like, well, not the other day. People say this all the time, and I see it. What? Um. A man was basically saying, like, the only difference between harassment and, like, somebody not harassing you is the woman being attracted to you. And it's like, they thought that that was, like, a big joker. Like, oh, if a, if a nigga fine, he can't harass you or sexually harass you or whatever. First of all, that's not true. But yeah. second of all, it's kind of like, okay, but if I'm attracted to you and I want to get to know you... No, you can't, like, harass me if I'm trying to, like, you know, get to know you. So that's not a big joker. Like, if a man is texting me every day and I like him, that's mm. not harassment to me. Right. But if I'm not attracted to you and I don't want to be around you and you're texting me all the time and that gets annoying, like, yeah, it kind of is. So it's like, I don't understand the point that people try to make, like, oh, if you're attractive, you can't harass somebody. But also, let me say, just because a nigga fine does not mean that he can't be annoying or getting on my nerves. I mean, like I said, for me, it's just like, read the motherfucking room. Right. Read the room. Like, you can tell... I think we're all somewhat intelligent enough to know when people no. like us back. You would think you that, think though. So? No. 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 Because I'm not going to lie. I'm not going like, to lie to you. Like, a nigga gotta know. No. Like, okay, this bitch not interested in me. Like, I've tried everything. I'm not going to lie. I had, a, I had a nigga on the squad... And I really wasn't fucking with the nigga. But sometimes when I would get bored, he would be like, you know, let's go do something. Let's go do something. I would go do it. I would never text this nigga first. I would never, I would used to be real short, real dry. Mm -hmm. I mean, but he would always be like, man, I like you so much. And I used to be like, how? I'd be on my dates texting my other niggas like, where, you see, at? where you at? Because as see, soon as you text me, I'm outside. But, but see, this is the thing, though. I feel like you just said, okay, like, I didn't ever really text him first. Or I didn't ever do whatever. Not really. But, I never did. Well, you never did. But when he would hit you up, you would still go link with Not him. Not every time. So that, I mean, it don't matter. But you still was linking with him sometimes. So that could give off an impression to somebody that maybe she is a little bit interested. You know what I mean? Because yeah. if you're not interested at all, bro, you're not about to go. I mean, and you probably wasn't. Like you said, you was just bored because I know you. Right. But to the normal person, that's going to make them feel like, okay, well, maybe she is interested even a little bit in me because right. she be coming hang with me. She be taking me up on my offer when I offer to take her out to eat or take her out to but I look, smoke hookah, whatever. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I feel like I'm the type of girl, you going to know if I'm interested in you because if we have good conversation, I'm attracted to you, you done done the right thing, said the right thing, we going to look. We gonna fuck. I mean, yeah. So if you done took me, me out about always an indication. If, if you done took me out ten times and you ain't even sniffed the pussy, 
You should know. Well, I just said I feel like that's not always an indication because for some women, some women just take a long time to fuck niggas. You know what I mean? Not us. Yeah, I'm speaking for her too. (laughs) Not us, bitch. Not us. You know, if you applying pressure and doing the right thing, you, we coming off the pussy. I mean, but, but honestly, let but me, I gotta but, like you too, though. Yeah, it you don't have, matter if you applying pressure. I done had niggas apply pressure, hella pressure, but I just didn't like them. So that's one thing about me. Just because you no, apply I agree. Pressure, but I'm saying don't necessarily mean you gonna get no pussy. And that's I why I like said you. I went on like ten dates with that dude and did like he did yeah. something, but he never got the pussy because like yeah, he was applying pressure, but I did not like him. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like. If a woman likes you and you applying pressure and you doing what you supposed to do, you got that BDB energy, it's really not hard to fuck these bro- these women, bro. It's not. But it's for them and for the men too. If you do what you supposed to do for your nigga or a man that you like and you turn them on the right but men are easy. Men are very easy. I mean, yeah. All you gotta do is be like he like, shit, where you want it at, girl? <laughs> where you want it? On the dress? On the floor? You want it on the chair? Do you want it on the floor? Do you, do you want, want it over here? Do, do you, you want, want it over there? there? Do you want it? <laughs> oh, my bad. So, yeah, I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like men are easier than women, but it's like, it goes, and some men like to think that they're hard to get or whatever it may seem, but I feel like applying pressure, you can apply pressure, but if you apply pressure, how much time do you think a person should know, okay, I'm applying pressure and this is not working and she's not into me. I don't know. I feel like it's not a time frame. I feel like it varies. It yeah. varies. Because I'm not going to lie, like, it done been people who I have, like, dated or whatever and they started applying. <laughs> Why is Craig looking like this? <laughs> he like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> Craig applying pressure is good morning. <laughs> what you doing today? Like. But no, so it done been dudes who I have like dated or whatever who like was applying pressure and all that stuff. And then at first I really didn't like them. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, dang, this nigga keep calling me. He keep hitting me up. He right. keep doing shit. Let me go ahead and like maybe really just try to see what he's talking about. Really see if I like him, get to know him a little bit. And then eventually it was niggas who I actually started to like and I did give them some pussy. But in the beginning, you cannot tell me I was going to fuck that nigga. Right, right. You know what I mean? You know what's crazy? him like that I, I think, really didn't like him at first see I'm the opposite I know right off the bat if I want to fuck or I not don't. I know if I'm gonna I know if I want to fuck or not if I'm going to fuck it's up to you though cause mm. I can meet you I'm like okay physically he got everything I like he can get some pussy out of me but let's let me see how he does moving forward and moving forward sometimes nigg- niggas fumble Sometimes they end up getting it. But what if it's not about a physical thing? Cause and you don't fuck niggas that shoot it. They probably wasn't necessarily your type physically, bro. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Sometimes I. So it's very rare though. Okay. It's very rare that I meet a guy that I don't like, and then he ends up getting the pussy. I mean, yeah. one thing about me, I'm very. I hate to say that about myself. I'm very shallow in the bedroom mm. because I like to, I am a visual person. Mm-hmm. Like I like to look at things that I like to see. You know what I'm saying? Like. It, it's got to be the whole package. I'm not saying you got to be like swole and fine and this and that. I'm just yeah. saying I like to be attracted to you. Right. And certain things make me attracted to you. Like sometimes I'll get to know somebody and I'm like, okay, I get to know them and they become more physically mm-hmm. attractive to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, even with use, uh, let's use Paul Paul for an example. We used to talk about Paul Paul on the show a long mm-hmm. time ago. Paw Paw is not old, y'all, by but the way. But he's cute, though. I so know. I'm trying to figure out where you But let at. me get, let me tell you, though. I told you, me and Paw Paw actually met in Houston. Yeah. And we had went on a date, but I didn't really, like, I wasn't really interested in him then. because. But he was, like, not saying nothing, but he was a little bigger. Okay. And all, you know, he already didn't have hair. You know I don't really fuck with the bald heads now. Nah. Mm, yeah, be even Uncle T. Yeah, so he was a little bigger. He had bald hair. But when we moved to Atlanta, he started getting in the gym. He was mm. working out. You know, so his style has changed. You know, mm-hmm. he started getting more money. Mm-hmm. I was like, hold on, Popo. Let me see what that dick hitting for. So do you want to Cause he, Yeah, because he was looking good. He was looking good to me. He was looking good to me. I'm not going to lie. So I do feel like sometimes See, I am. better than me. If I was him, I would have curved Joey. I'd be like, I, I, bitch. He love it here. He but love that's like my, me. Now I'm hot. Hoes all but that's me. like my best friend now. Like, that's my nigga. Like, we cool. Like, that's my dog. But yeah, like, that's an example of, you know, I feel like applying pressure versus harassment. I feel like you're going to know right off the bat. I say a week or two. A week if or two. If you like somebody. If, if somebody's applying pressure, especially to a woman, when we like you and you applying pressure, 
you gonna see nah, it straight that's up. True. You gonna see it straight up. Cause when I like people too, I be wanting to spend time with them. I be wanting to spend time like with you. Time with niggas like this. So it's like if I really want to spend time with you, I really like you, bro. I swear to God, I if Big Papa tell me come on, I will walk. I will walk to that nigga house. You right? walk to a booger? barefoot, barefoot nigga. How you gonna walk to a booja barefoot? barefoot nigga? Wig and tote, bitch. How you gonna get across the ocean? I don't, I'm, I'm a, I would walk a thousand miles. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of time I'm on. But sometimes, nigga, could some niggas can't even get a text back from me. Yeah. But I feel like a week or two, you should know. So, men, if you're applying pressure and she's not giving you the kind of uh, reaction you want within a week or two, trust me, you're wasting your time. Let's be real here, too. It's niggas out here who don't be even having to apply pressure. Mm. Bitches be fucking niggas and they don't be applying no pressure. They just be fucking them because they like them. Well, that's not in our ministry. Bitch, you don't fuck the nigga because you liked him. Back, I'm, no, no, no. Back then, now, you have to show me a little something. No, I mean, right. I get what you're saying, but I'm saying you have fucked the nigga genuinely because you like yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, it ain't nothing no, wrong there's with that. No, I'm not saying that a nigga has to go, but you have to, like, show me that you're going to put in the effort for me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not about to just let a nigga come over. Let's say, like, me and a nigga been texting. We ain't hung out. He's never took me to dinner on a vacation, never done anything for me. You're not about to just come over and get some pussy just because I like you. That's what I mean. Well, I mean, who the fuck? To me, that's dating. Like, are you not going on a date first? No. Like you said, some women just like a nigga. But how we even end up back at my house? That's what I'm... And because, you ain't took me on a date. Because that's how that's some That's to, how some women are. So it's like niggas just be like, shawty, let me come out. Yeah, like, shit. I mean, I ain't even trying to do nothing tonight. You seen that new candy, man? I got it on my fire stick. <laughs> And she'd be like, yeah, just come through. I'm going to order some pizza or something. Not a pizza. <laughs> a pizza. Not fire stick and pizza. And you like jalapenos? <laughs> that's how it be. Bro, that's embarrassing. But I'm telling you how to real go, bro. You not thinking. You thinking about our lives and what we do. Not everybody is doing. when I was younger, though. I guess when I was younger, I definitely used to be, like, Let chilling me, with niggas. And he, he, he get his belly full with that Papa John's and he going to be. But that ain't happened that many times though. But it does happen. The, but I'm but I'm saying it right is. now I'm not doing I had that no ex more. Boyfriend when I was in my early twenties, that nigga was broke as fuck. My ex was so broke. My ex was so fucking broke, y'all. He didn't even have a car. No, let me tell you how broke my ex was. Let's have and a that's conversation. The nigga I went to. Well, that's that wasn't my early twenties actually. <laughs> I started fucking with him when I was like eighteen. I was in college, uh -huh. and I was at school, and he was in Houston, and I used to drive down, come see him all the time. That's the nigga I went to jail with for fucking in the car. Mm -hmm. Y'all, he was so fucking broke. He didn't have no car or nothing, but that dick was a fire. Let me tell you how broke my ex was. My ex was so broke, he didn't have um, a bank account, a debit card, nothing. So he I don't was, think he had he, a bank listen, account Listen, let either. me finish, though. This nigga was away at college. This nigga was so broke. I sent him $100. I had to send it in the mail, right? I wrapped it up in some oh, paper and some envelopes. That was before you could uh, Zelle and shit. Yeah, it was before Zelle. It was before Cash, cash out. out. So literally, y'all, I wrapped a $100 bill in an envelope and I mailed it to him. And I was like, oh, I sent you some mail, babe. Did you get it? He opened it up. He said, you start you the, he started crying. He said, you the realest bitch ever. I was like, yeah. I thought I was doing something. Because you see him $100. $100. Nah. That's I how mean, broke that nigga I mean, was. I mean, my nigga might top your nigga, though. He was fucking broke. He was so broke. He had broke his cell phone, and I had an extra phone, so I had to give it to him. See? To let him use, like, my other phone. And I forgot to delete a whole bunch of shit out of it, and he thought out I cheated on him. <gasps> Not a cheating bitch. Mm, mm, mm. Bitch, he was broke. What the fuck you thought? I mean, he was pretty broke too. Like I remember, we had to go of to cricket. I'm cheating on you, you're broke. <gasps> oh, nah, see, you didn't have to go there. Yeah, we did. was young. I went and bought him a cricket phone. He had a cricket phone. Bitch. And I was a freshman in college. I was the new Tenderoni, young Tenderoni mm. on campus. Definitely cheated on his ass. I am dead. But it was funny because him and a nigga had the same name. So, so you it was are, easy to hide for a long time. <laughs> And I just you ain't shit. Get away with that shit, you ain't shit. What's but up, y'all? Yeah. It's your girl XP, 
And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. Now, y'all know we go out of town a lot. Drea be working now. Yes. You know, sometimes you just gotta, or whenever you just wanna listen to some music and tune the world out. Yeah, so I love my Raycons. It's my go to right now for whenever I'm listening to my music in the gym. People always be asking me, girl, what are those that you got in your ear? Because you could tell they not ear pods. They not the ear pods you know by Apple. Saying? And they a fraction of the price. That's the best right. thing about them. And they sound just as good. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you can also put them in awareness mode so you can listen to what's going around because you know people be trying to sneak up on yeah you need to see you need to hear what's going on you need on. to know what's going on so right now you can get 15% off of your order at buyraycon.com slash poor minds that's b-u-y r-a-y-c-o-n dot com slash poor minds and get you some headphones yes. you know what I'm saying and the Raycons also come with a 45 day guarantee money back guarantee mm-hmm. so if you don't like them just send them back but you don't like them and we know you will. Hey, shit. But yes, back to the topic at hand. We're not talking about our old relationships. <laughs> but I feel like men... we too have dated broken in. Yeah. The, we, that's the point we was getting Because I know we do have a lot of young listeners. So if y'all are like dating a man and y'all like, y'all, a lot of y'all be like 18, 19, 20. Y'all be like, why this nigga ain't buy me a car? Yeah. Baby girl, you just got out of diapers yesterday. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Calm down. You, it's baby steps. Mm-hmm. I mean, life is a lot different than it is now versus when we was coming up in the game. Social media wasn't how Bitch, it we is. We still coming up in the game. We only 30 and 32. No, well, I'm talking about, no, we ain't coming up in the game as far as like getting what we want and doing what we want to do. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I'm just, point. yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, anyways, uh, applying pressure versus harassment, one week. Two weeks at the most. If you are talking to a girl over two weeks and you applying pressure and she hasn't reciprocated anything, she don't like you, bro. She don't like you. I'm keep sorry to tell you. Just keep it and motherfucking keep it moving. moving. Amen. Next topic. Okay. We're going to talk about this because this is something that happens a lot. You do. And we get a lot of actually questions about this because a lot of the girls write in, they be like, oh, this nigga said he was going to do this. He said he was going to do that. So we want to talk about men pulling you with false pretenses. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of men be like, hey, shawty, I pay your rent. I pay your car note. I do this and that. Whatever you need. Give me your number. We going to talk. Uh, give me your number and I call, no call and I follow that ass in the mall. In the mall. Notice he said follow you in the mall. He didn't say buy you nothing in the mall. <laughs> false pretenses, bitch. No, that's not false pretenses because he told your ass, bitch, follow you. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to spend no bread on you, bitch. I thought I was going to follow so you. So how do you handle a situation? A nigga try to fuck with you. He say, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z and he don't do none of that. I'm going to stop talking to him. That's it. Not even like understand why why he tried to come at you like that. No. Cause I don't need to understand why. If we just started talking, if we just met and mm-hmm, you told mm-hmm. me you was gonna do something and you didn't do it, well, I'm dead in that shit right there. Right. Because I don't know you yet. Right. So why the fuck do I give a fuck about what your excuse is for why you didn't do what you told me you was gonna do? Goodbye. You just not a man in your word in my eyes, and I'ma move around. Let me say this. I feel like men. They say things and they do things. They think, well, I said I was going to do this, but it's not that big of a deal. Is that all you was here for? And they're like, yeah, okay, but let me put it to you like this. Imagine I meet a nigga. Imagine I meet you and I'm like, man, you fine as fuck. I'm about to put this wet, sloppy, nasty coochie on you. And it's going to be so good. You're going to slap your mama. Mm. And I don't give you none of that. You're going to be mad as fuck. You're going to be like, damn, this girl told me she got that sloppy toppy. Good, good. Going to change my life. And I didn't get it. You're going to feel some motherfucking type of way. Yeah. So why is it okay for men to approach us and tell us, oh, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z. And when it come down to it, you don't do it. I didn't say it was okay. No, I'm not saying that you it's said that. It's definitely not okay. You know what I mean? But I think sometimes you just got to keep it moving. Now, me personally, mm. if a nigga tell me he going to do something... I'm going to be like, what's up? You're going to pull that card. Fi- well, yeah, because at first, I'm like, okay, like if I go on a trip with a nigga or if I go do something with a dude and we hanging out for like a few days and he tell me he going to do this, um, I'll wait the first few days. Like, I'll just chill. Right. You know what I mean? Enjoy the vibe. shit, Because I don't want to fuck shit up. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because sometimes niggas be wanting to warm up to you. They want to see if they like you first before they spend some money, like spend some real money or do something for real. 
But that's the thing, though. Why do you have to warm up to me? Because you said you was going to do this. You did. But so I'm it's just... like, why you got to warm up? You shouldn't have said nothing at all then. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you. But yeah, like I said, so I like, if I say if I go somewhere and me and a dude together for like a few days, first day, second day, I probably won't say shit. Mm. But the third day, by the third day, if you told me you was going to take me shopping or do something and you ain't did it, I'm trying to figure out like, why the fuck we ain't made this to the mall yet? <laughs> and I'm about to ask. <laughs> Cause I ain't got time to keep wasting. It's motherfucking Labor Day. Malls closed. Dre like, well, you can order it online. Well, you can sell me, <laughs> so I can go get it when I get back to Atlanta. Like the fuck, yeah, don't fucking play with me. I just think that don't fucking play with me. I'm not gonna lie, I do be like because like that, but I'm only like that if a nigga come at me like that. Right, because that's what I'm saying. You should have never said that you was gonna do some shit if you don't really plan on doing it. Because I'm not one of them type of bitches who be falling for the okie doke and gonna fuck you off the hope of what you gonna do. But I just don't understand. Like in 2021, like I honestly feel like if a nigga leads with that. That's like a, a little kind of a red flag to me. Hey, I don't think so. Because these niggas who lead with that, who really do it. I mean, yeah, but I don't like that. That's actually like, I just want to see. I, don't tell me what you're going to do. Just fucking do it I and show me. I was to a dude. Hood, babe. Hood, babe. Hood, babe. That was a long time ago. I can't even remember who that is. Well, I was talking to Hood, babe. Remember he told me he was going to take me shopping and he did on the first day. I mean, oh, okay. I remember Hood, babe. Now, I'm like, that's like four days ago. I'm trying to keep up now, myself. Now, what the hell are you thinking about? I, 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 I don't, don't know. know. But, I, okay. Yeah, he kept his word. But the thing is, it's like, you don't even have to lead with that. Like, let's just do it. Like, if just, I feel like... Me, so, you mean, like, come pick me up, take me on a date, and then we just pull up at the mall? Yeah. The, the element of surprise. Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of you niggas that have money, y'all feel like just because y'all got money, you already in the dough. Mm. And a lot of y'all just don't have game no more. Right. So, y'all be wondering why, okay, I got all this money, but why am I not pulling quality women? Mm. Why am I still stuck with... Because you're leading with your money, mm -hmm. and you're attracting women who just want you for your money. Mm -hmm. Versus, if you want to do something nice for somebody, that's cool. So, you know what? Be like, I'm going to take her out to dinner. Or let's go to lunch or something. Let me take this girl to lunch. Oh, you know what? I see she had on a Chanel. And I seen her tweet that she wanted another Chanel. Let me just pull up to the mall real quick. Because it ain't nothing to you. But the element of surprise and being My like... Hair done feel in the element of surprise and just being like somebody being shocked goes a long way versus you being like, oh, yeah, baby girl, I'm going to take you to Chanel. And it's like, so now she in her mind like, even if I don't end up liking this nigga, let me stick around enough, long enough just to get my Chanel. I mean, yeah, nobody likes being led on. Exactly. So, I mean, that's just what it boils down to at the end of the day. Nobody likes to be led on. So, at the end of the day, as a man, if you're telling a woman you want to do something for her and that's how you're trying to holler at her in the beginning, of course she's going to expect you to do that. And if you don't do it, well, then shit ain't going to end well <laughs> with most women. You know what I mean? You do have the few. Not with most women. <laughs> What? Because it's not. <laughs> it's not going to end well with most women. I mean, no, I'm but just saying. you do have the few that's still going to be like, because, you know, some women don't really like confrontation and shit. So they just going to chill. They going to be like, oh, okay, well, I guess he not going to take me shopping. Or, you know, they might end up still fucking you because they hoping if they fuck, then they might get I'm, That's the definitely not me. Definitely not me neither. I, if anything, I'm going to leave your ass. I'm not going to start I, a fight I'm gonna book, about I'm it. I'm going to book an earlier flight. I'm going to be like, actually, I got to go. I forgot. Yeah, I'm, I I'm not going to I'm not gonna start a fight about it, but I am going to be like on some shit like, oh, okay. Like, it's going to get real dry. It's The conversation is going to get real motherfucking dry. No, I don't be starting fights about it neither. I think I just be being real dry too. And then mm. a nigga be like, well, what's wrong with you? And I be like, well, since you motherfucking ass. <laughs> well... Why we ain't went to the mall? <laughs> why you told me we was gonna go shopping? And right, I just don't understand why like, I lie. Like, I'm not gonna sit up here and tell a nigga he about to get some great best pussy you ever had. Why would I do that? Pussy is very much mediocre. I ain't gonna I lie. Can't relate. So. <laughs> Look, I told y'all I ain't upselling nothing. You know how you go to a restaurant and they be like, oh, uh, what 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 good margaritas do you have? Oh, we got this one margarita. It's got this in it. It's got the top shelf liquor. Mm -hmm. The best, the best taste you ever had. Not me. What kind of pussy you got? I mean, you gonna nut. Not you got that meat. <laughs> you gonna nut? You wanna nut or not? You know, it's like you how you got like syringe or that gas. It's like in between. You gonna get high. <laughs> Not as giving Reggie. I don't like that. I didn't say it was giving Reggie. It's like that mid. 
You ain't gonna be like trying to. Oh, it's like you a ain't hybrid. gotta smoke like eight blunt. You gotta smoke like eight blunts of Reggie to get high. Mm. You ain't got. It ain't. It ain't like you gonna have to fuck for a long time. I mean, you gonna nut. It ain't gonna be like damn, but it's gonna be like I. I come back with y'all. She cool though. Nah, I see. And mm-hmm. she funny though. I'm not about to. Say. I, but I, but you know what? I might be Bro. on my A game that day. I done might have had a little Tito's. I done smoked a little hookah. I might be in a good mood, so I might turn what your the shit Tito's off. Do? The Tito's get Grandma Lou. You get, be lit. Get Auntie Lou. I know you were Auntie, cause only Aunties drink Tito's. Baby. <laughs> Give me that Chardonnay. I put a little shot of Tito's in there. The only person go to the club be like, yeah, can I get um a Tito's? Or oh, I order. They'd be like, you know, bitches always she go to the club and order Chardonnay. Let me get that barefoot. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I be ordering Chardonnay though, and that's what I'm saying. So I'm not about to upsell myself because I don't know what pussy you gonna get. Garfield got a mind of it of her own. Okay, mm. so I'm not about to upsell you know, myself. You don't think he's consistent? Your Hell consistent? no! Hell no! Because some niggas, they do what they supposed to do. Mm-hmm. And Garfield be ready. Sometimes Garfield know, bitch, we just clocking in. <laughs> and you you know, you, you got to pay the tab. What I told you, sometimes. Like you got to pay the tab. You got to pay the tab. I'm not going to lie. Like, y'all, everybody know I loved Nigerian Bay. Nigerian Bay was my man. But that first night in Lagos, we didn't fuck. It was the second night we fucked. I wasn't necessarily ready to fuck, but I knew I had to pay for the trip. The tab. Tab. You got to pay your tab. I ain't never fucked a nigga that I didn't want to fuck when I fucked him. Never. Mm-mm. Not one time. No, no I, de- I definitely did, did that before. Any nigga that I fucked, it's like maybe things happened or transpired after we fucked that made me feel like, damn, I wish I wouldn't have fucked that mm-hmm. nigga. But like when I decided to fuck them, it was always, yeah, like I was ready. Cause I, wanted I mean, to. I feel like a lot of things have changed. So it's like, like I'm not going to lie. Like, when I fucked Mr. Cabo? Oh, maybe except for that one time. Remember that one time? That's what I was about to say. But I talked about that on the show, though. Yeah. But that was the only time in my life that I feel like I wasn't ready. Right. And I still was like, fuck it. Fuck it. Let's Just turn it. up. But like I said, I mean, I don't do that. I feel like, like, Mr. Cabo, <laughs> he knew it was time. How he knew? <laughs> Girl, I don't. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Lex P, and it's your girl Dre in the cold. And we had to tell y'all about Evive. Yes, I love Evive. You know, in the mornings I love to do my little smoothies and mm. stuff, and it's just made my life so much easier because instead of having to chop up the fruit yes. and all that stuff, all I have to do is add my liquid of choice mm-hmm. and then put the little cubes in a blender and, and shake it and up. Shake it up and go. I don't even gotta use the blender. Yes, and the thing I mean, about you can. it, you can you, do either or. But I feel like it's just easier especially for people that's on the go you literally pick whatever liquid you want take the little cube drop it in there shake it up Mm -hmm. real good it's easy it's quick and it's nutritious no added sugar no artificial flavors gluten free non-gmo whatever y'all want to do it's healthy for you and I swear by it. And they have a lot of delicious flavors. One of my favorite ones is the orange peach. Yes. I like the cashew mocha. You know, I like the little nuts now. Oh. You got that cashew mocha in there. You know what I'm saying? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to evivenutrition.com. That's E-V-I-V-E nutrition.com and use code poorminds20 and get 20% off plus free ship and it's gonna come right to your door. So if you're trying to get on a more healthy regimen, you're trying to, you know, eat right, get your body right and tight, this is gonna be a smoothie that you're gonna swear by and love. Mm-hmm. So make sure you go to evivenutrition.com and use code POORMINDS20 and get 20% off plus free shipping. I don't... So speaking of the you nasty, now we gonna get into the bit. The bit. Bow. The Bow. Bow. A bow. 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 I be wanting a jig every time we do that. So it's about. It is about. So today I wanted to talk about weird, weird turn ons because I think a lot of men don't understand the things that get you the pussy. A lot of times are things that turn women on outside of the bedroom that are non-sexual, mm. like nothing sexual at all. And that just be like making the pussy jump a little bit. Mm. Like sometimes you see a nigga do something, you be like, Ugh. Mm-hmm. "What make you go like this? Ugh. What make you do that? I know you didn't did that before. You be like, "Whoo!" I just seen you in the club one time sweating. I'm like, "Damn, why she sweating?" Mm. When was bitch? You a 
fucking liar. <laughs> what? Why what? What's a weird turn on that you have? A weird turn like on? that's I I won't use the word weird, but just a turn on that's non sexual. Like like why are you turned on right now? I like when niggas have good smelling breaths. Okay, that's not that's not weird though. That's just like you like good hygiene. Like. I think it is a little weird though. I mean, it'd be weird if you would like open a nigga mouth and you like, no, no. oh my pussy wet. That's different. <laughs> That's different. <laughs> like, you say you just like a nice smelling breath. I like, do, yeah. but it's like to the point that it's like I be trying to get close because I be trying to sniff it. So, I mean. So I can like see what it's meant. Right, like, right. If it's stank, then right, I'm okay. about to leave. I get it. I I'm get about to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. But and that's I come back. That's not bad. That's not bad. Me, I love. One thing that turned me on, like, I love when a nigga can drive good. Drive? Hell <laughs> yeah! When a nigga be swaying that, when he put on that blinker, oh, not the blinker. I love, I, because I feel like I hate when guys like be scared to drive and they be like, oh, this traffic is bad. You ain't got no ball. Let your balls drop and cut that nigga off. Who the fuck is be saying that? Oh, this traffic. I is mean, bad. some people. This traffic is so bad. Eighty five South. I cannot. Oh God! This traffic Atlanta is just cutting up. That sounds like a fucking nerd. I'm, nigga. I'm, some niggas be nerd ass niggas. I like my niggas be like, fuck this shit. We about to swing. Niggas be swinging. I, mean, I guess that is. I guess that is a turn on. I though. love when a nigga can drive good because I can't drive. So I feel like if you drive like me, you got a pussy too. Let's, let's drive like Miss Daisy. I sure do. I be that be me. This traffic is so <laughs> bad. Y'all, let's drive I like an old ass lady for I real. I can't. I can't. Well, I'm never going to make it on time. Ty, here, I'm five minutes away. <laughs> I am not going to be on time today. That be me. So I feel like if you drive like that, it's only one pussy in this car and it's mine. Now, yeah. I think so you need is, to drive good. That's that's a good that's a good point. Yeah. I like a nigga that know how to drive. I like when niggas call me baby girl. You love baby girl. And it's crazy because Rapper Bay calls me that all the time. Baby girl. He be like, baby girl. Baby girl. Sir. All right, all right. So, baby girl, baby girl, I is love cute. baby girl in a forehead kiss. Hood niggas love to give you a forehead kiss. I don't talk about you. People. Love hood niggas, bro. I you do. really do. Ooh, I do. Your roster is full of hood niggas, dog. <laughs> Some of them are reformed, though. Don't do that. I mean, they're but they're still hood niggas. No, they not. They far removed from the hood. But, Twice removed. But they still be like, "What's up, Dryer?" <laughs> they do not talk like that. Last time I seen her nigga, he had an ankle bracelet on. <laughs> and it wasn't diamonds, bitch. It wasn't diamonds. He had diamonds on too, though. <laughs> he had on both at the same time. Speaking of diamonds, I'm not gonna lie. That's another weird turn on of mine. I love it when a nigga, when a nigga icy. icy. Who? It ain't nothing like an icy ass nigga. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Mr. Cabo, when we went out that he first was icy. time. Icy. Icy as a fuck. I said, you icy as the fuck. What, girl? What he had on? Baby, he had on the bus down. He had on he had on a bunch of rings. Mm. He had on them chains. I said, girl, feel. Behave. Behave yourself. Ooh. I am a lady. Okay. I like when niggas be icy. Like, you got, I like a little, I like niggas that care about, like, details. Yeah. Stuff like that. Like, I feel like, you know, dress up, I look definitely nice love when men can dress. Like, yeah. when they dress nice. Yeah, so I feel and like. smell, oh my God. Smell. smell good. Like I told y'all, I get, I told you how I am about my perfume. I went to the doctor yesterday to do my little checkup, everything. Mm -hmm. Literally, I'm laying on the table. The doctor was like, what's that that you have on? You're supposed to smell good yeah, at all times. Smell good all I, the time. I, I, when I, think, I tell you that is the number one compliment I get yeah. out of everything is that I smell good. So when a man smells good, look, y'all, men, we're really putting y'all on game right now. If you want to really get the pussy out of a bad bitch, you do all these things. You gotta smell good. You gotta smell good, drive good, get you a lot of ice. The pussy is yours. Now this is a weird. Now, Cause to me that stuff isn't really weird though. That's like normal I mean, it's just not. Ones. But I think like a weird turn on it i have i like when niggas have like long eyelashes like nice eyelashes that's i like that too i used to ask my nigga what you got on 747 remember my remember uh remember moran that we used to work with moran, moran had the nicest lashes moran ever. had beautiful lashes yeah, he did. thick and full i used to be like who your last lady yeah, he did yeah so i mean that has to do so with like, like features like turn on i guess yeah but i also okay this is the last one and then we gonna move on I like um, men who are 
um, open with their food palate too. Like if we go somewhere, like you don't mind trying different things Mm -hmm. or you don't mind like, like you know what you want. Like if we go somewhere and you ordering a well done steak and you, you shaking the table trying to cut that filet. I'm and not, I'm like this, yeah. trying to hold it still. You spilling my Chardonnay because yeah. you trying to cut your steak open, <laughs> nigga. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely agree with you because I went out. Well, I went on a date not that long ago, uh-huh. and like the dude had ordered a well done steak, and I'm like, you don't want to order it medium, and he was like, no, I don't want it to where blood coming out and shit. I said it's medium, blood is not gonna be coming out. But I was like, but I feel like you'll enjoy it better. It's gonna be a little more tender, easier to chew. It's gonna have more flavor. Have more flavor. I don't trust your palate because if you eat a well done yeah. steak, what type of pussy is you eating, bro? Well done, pussy. Pussy, you know what I'm saying? Pussy that's cooked, cooked. That well pussy be done, cooked. dry. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I, if, I don't try. I like a nigga that like yeah, me too. when we sit down to eat, he's like suggesting, oh, this is good, this is good. Oh, you should try this. Or he want to try different stuff. Yes, that's like, like I knew a guy that my friend had dated a long time ago. All this nigga used to eat was fries. Not. That's all he used to eat. I know him. Yeah, we. I mean, we all know him. That's my nigga. I'm like, all you eat is fries, bro. I'm telling you, it don't matter where he go. You can be at Steak 48. You can order you some lot. He gonna pay for everything because he's he definitely a BDB. Fries. But he can be like, let me get them fries. Make them truffle. You know, try to get a little fancy. A little fancy. But I'm like, all he eat is fries. But I would imagine. <laughs> but I would imagine you gotta switch it up if all you eat is fries. Like you gotta try. But that is such eat. a turn off to me. Like I understand people like what they like, but I like a man with a, a nice palate. I used to fuck with a nigga who all he would eat was chicken tenders. See, I don't like that. That is childish. Everywhere we you go. used to talk to Jackson. No. Cause that's the only person I know that just eat chicken I tenders. Used to, girl, yes, he used to. That's all he would order every time we would go out to eat: chicken fucking tenders, fried, baked, sautéed. <laughs> but it was a tender. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to him. We gonna call you Young Tender. I am dead. <laughs> Yes. Girl, well, no, you're not lying about that. Cause I had a cousin, like one of my little cousins, when we was growing up, like they would cook and everybody would eat all mm-hmm. of like whatever, you know, people in the family would cook. But for his ass, they would always go to fucking Popeyes and KFC and get him chicken wow. and mashed potatoes. That's crazy. Because he wouldn't eat the food. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like growing up I was a picky eater, but like as I grew up and I experience things like you just learn to like new things. So I feel like that says a lot about your mentality as well. Like you're just not even wanting to try anything yeah. else. You know what I'm saying? I so I really think it's a personality thing, though. Yeah. Some people are just like that. Like they're not really open to trying new experiences new stuff. and trying new stuff because I can never just eat fries and it's all eat. the time. So yeah, those are our weird turn ons. So if y'all have any weird turn ons, I want to know what they are because I feel like those are things that really just be like, okay. Mm. I can fuck with that. Mm-hmm. So now we going to get into the bow. Hey. The bow. Hey. The bow. 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 bow, bow. bow. You want to go first? You want me to go you first? You can go first, bro. I'm not going to tell you what they said about you before you got here. Who, me? Mm-hmm. Who? Look, I'm being messy. <laughs> Who? What they say? I'm going to say it after I do my bop of the week. Oh. So, my bop of the week is by Maxo Cream, and it has Tyler, the creator, on there. They just dropped a song called Big Persona. So, first of all, shout out to Maxo Cream. I know a lot of y'all have DM'd us about this. Yes, that was us on the intro of Maxo <laughs> Cream song a long time ago. But... Let me say this about Tyler, the creator. (laughs) I feel... Okay, Tyler, the creator has Grammys. He has the numbers. He's super talented. But I feel like every time we have conversations about um, the best rappers out right now, people always talk about, you know, they'll say the Drakes, uh, Future, like whoever is relevant at the moment. And they never bring Tyler, the creator, up in these conversations. Mm. When I tell you this nigga be rapping his ass off, and I think it's because his style is a little different. He's not too open about his sexuality. He's not rapping about fucking hoes, but he pop his shit. Yeah. He talk his shit, because at the end of the day, you niggas don't got more money than him. Y'all ain't got better cars than him. Y'all not fucking with him, period. Mm. So it's like a lot of times they just want to leave him out the conversation because of other factors. But don't get it twisted. Tyler, the creator, ate on this song. Mm -hmm. 
He was just popping his shit. And you know, I love when people pop their shit. That's another weird turn on. I like when niggas talk that shit like I'm that nigga. And Tyler the Creator, I used to have a big crush on him back in the day. Really? I did. Like, if people want to ask, I don't have a type. But if you really like, if I had to say what my type is, I would say like a Tyler the Creator type person. Physically like, and stuff? Yes, everything. I think he's so cute. But I, well, we're not talking about that. Mm-hmm. God damn it. Tyler, the creator, Maxo Cream, big persona. Maxo Cream is very slept on. He's one of the top artists out of Houston. A lot of people fuck with him, but not enough, in my opinion. Because yeah. he always delivers. The song is amazing. It's definitely like a pop my shit song. And, you know, we love to pop our shit. So, yeah. Shout out to Maxo. Yeah, Maxo Cream featuring Tyler, the creator, big persona. Shout out to Lil Toby. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Toby, too, mm-hmm. the homie. So... Let's go, Drea. Let's go. They were making a bet on what your bop of the week was going to be. Of course, everyone knows what my bop of the week is going to be. Duh. <laughs> so who won? <laughs> which, song? which song? They said they was betting on which oh, song. Which song? The whole album. I am dead. No, I'm kidding. But um, I feel like it was a few songs on the album. Wait, but you got to tell them what album you talking oh, about. Oh, Drake album, duh. <laughs> yeah. Certified Lover Boy came out, mm-hmm. a, wait, a few days ago mm-hmm. or whatever. So, yeah, of course, y'all know I've been listening to it. Everybody been listening to it. Everybody been talking about it. Um, I would have to say, like, my top five songs okay. on the album is, like, the song with Lil Baby. The Girls Want Girls song. The one with Givion. Yeah, that's that's one of my top five, too. I like Pipe Down. Pipe Down is a good one. I like the song with Yeba. Yeba? Yeba? How you say yeah. that? I mean, it's just really her song. Well, it's just her song. Yeah. But yeah, I'm saying it's, yeah. it's on the album. Though. Yeah. I'm just... But yeah, so, and then I also like, um, I like Knife Talk, but then I also got to shout out the... In Too Deep song with Future because yeah, it had the, the Houston intro. Yeah. If you know, you know. If you from Houston right. or if you from Texas. um, What was the name of that song? Get Throat, Houston Classic. And then, so, you know, he the had sample. a TSU. You know, I'm a TSU alumni. Shout out to TSU. Yeah, shout out but to I'm not going to lie, y'all. I was in the club the other night and Way Too Sexy came on. Y'all know I'm old, bitch. I threw that ass so hard, my back blew out, bitch. I'm not gonna like. I, I'm not gonna lie. I like way too sexy too. Hey, I that shit like... went hard in the club. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, that it shit did. go hard. I feel like it is, and it's the video too. The video yeah, is funny. the video is fire. But I also feel like a lot of people are kind of scared to make club music right now because everybody wants to be like, oh, we gotta prove that uh, hip hop is still alive, and everybody want to rap like J. Cole and Kendrick, but y'all not J. Cole and Kendrick, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So one thing I can appreciate about Drake is he stays in his lane. He don't give a fuck what y'all doing. He's gonna do what he does. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, Certified Lover Boy is not my favorite album, but it was good. Yeah, it's not my favorite Drake album either, absolutely, but yeah. I love cool the album. rollout though, like the rollout was fire. Mm-hmm. I with feel the billboards like, and stuff. Yeah, with the billboards, that was amazing. The song with Tim's, you know, like, yeah, let me tell y'all something about Tim. Tim. Let me go on a Tim's rant real quick, and then we gonna move on. Tim's ate Drake up on that song, first of all, but she eats everybody up. You have never heard a song with Tim's on it, and she didn't eat somebody up. So I say this all the time. If you haven't listened to Tim's album, please go listen to it. Her talent is out of this world. Her voice is something that I haven't heard in a long time. You know how people have that voice, like, not comparing the two, but you remember how, like, Sade just has that voice that you can always recognize. Mm-hmm. No matter what, it can be on any kind of record. Tim Tim's has that voice. Mm-hmm. It don't matter what you hear her on, you're going to know that, oh, that's Tim's. You know what I'm right. saying? So, shout out to Tim's. She's a superstar. I don't care what she dropped. I'm supporting it. Love it. I'm glad Drake brought her on the album because, yeah. She was the only female on the album besides the 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 Yebba girl. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't a lot of females on the album. No, it, it wasn't, wasn't a lot of all. women on the album. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, but she yeah, was just talking. Was talking. She was just talking, she you know what I'm saying? Her shit per you. Shout out to Nikki. But yeah, I feel, but Tim's was the only feature on there that was like with Drake. Like they yeah, were on there they together. Were on together. So yeah, shout out to Tim's. You're doing big things. We love you over here. All right, so now we're going to get into the pour your heart out segment of the show. Make sure if you want your questions answered 
um, on the show, you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. That's A-S-K-P-O-U-R-M-I-N-D-S at gmail.com. If you're a Patreon member, make sure you put in the subject that you're a Patreon member so you can skip the line, of course. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp and Poor Minds listeners get 10% off of their first month at BetterHelp.com backslash Poor Minds. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know we love and we swear by BetterHelp. It has changed us for the better so much. It I, has. I swear by it. I love it. I love it, too. I love it, too. I cannot get through my week without my weekly sessions with my counselor, Tiffany. Shout out to Tiffany. And I feel like, you know, your therapist has helped you out a lot, yes, too. Yes, Kanisha is amazing. So, if you you're a person who has been like skeptical about trying therapy you're not sure if it's for you better help is easy because you do it from the comfort of your own mm-hmm. home you don't have to go to a doctor's office financial aid is available mm-hmm. we've partnered with them to get a discount so if you just want to try it out this is going to be the program for you and we actually have a patient review yes so we have a patient review it says Ian Gertrude is a wonderful man quick to respond concise understanding loving gentle but yet firm I believe he can quickly detect the underlying problem or issue and bring it to the surface in a calm, peaceful, gentle way. I would recommend him to anyone. This person was dealing with addictions, relationship issues, intimacy related issues, anger management, co- hold on, anger management, coaching, and compassion fatigue. So as you can see, whatever you're dealing with in life, whatever you're struggling with, whether your life is going good or bad, BetterHelp.com can definitely help you. So what you're going to do is you're going to visit BetterHelp.com backslash Poor Minds. That's Better H E L P dot com backslash Poor Minds, and you're going to join the over one million people who are using this and getting their life on track. Like like you know what I'm saying? We to them. Okay. So make sure y'all go to BetterHelp.com and start your counseling today. Okay. And don't forget to send in your testimonials. Yeah, we're doing testimonials well. now. So, and um, before we get into this, I know we always forget to say this. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get our subscribers up so y'all oh, can yeah. get noticed. Because a lot of times y'all be like, where the episode at? And the episode been out be for three up. days. Yeah, make sure y'all subscribe so to the channel. If you subscribe to the channel, you're going to get notifications as soon as it drops. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. It's like one click. Like, that's it. Okay. Also, subscribe to the Patreon yes. as well. We drop yes. bonus content every week. You want to read the first one on me? I'll read it. Okay. Okay. Question one. Hey, ladies. Hope all is well with you all. I'm 30 and my man is 50. We've known one another for 11 years now. He's a cop and works off duty at my job. We've been intimate and exclusive for about three years now. Okay. Y'all, my BDB has been good to me. I have no complaints in our relationship. He supported me financially the past two years. My personal money is completely mine and your girl's savings is bursting. I bought my first home last year and we live together and now we live together in my home okay now this year he has started a company something happened with the company where he needed a couple thousand dollars I offered to give him the money he said okay the problem has come where I told him to sign a promissory note y'all this man got in his feelings tough and didn't take my money and claims that I'm wrong and he has never had anyone do that to him forgetting I am a businesswoman first. His frustration was that he gives me half of all his money and never asks for anything from me. Y'all, I don't care about none of that. I told him he's been paying his way. That's our living money. We are not married and he can leave me anytime and the next pretty young thing bats her eyes. I have to cover my ass. He says I act single. Anywho, am I wrong? Oh, I quit my job this year and currently unemployed, so my savings is all I have. <sighs> You want me to go? Yeah, okay. Let me say this. Okay, so first of all, no, you said a couple of thousand dollars. A couple is two. So it was $2,000, okay? That's how I'm taking it as. And this man has been financially taking care of you for two years. Girl. And he came up on some hard times. And you making him and sign you, a and For $2,000? Mm-mm. You should have really Mm-mm. rethought before quitting that job, sound like to me. Because I feel like if you have a BDB, especially as a business owner, you know, sometimes shit gets hard. That's the, if y'all want to attract these men that have all these things, you know, sometimes shit happens. And you tripping over $2,000, you tripping. Yeah, you wrong. You a is. promissory? I would never ask no nigga who done did a whole bunch of shit for me. You Can have a house a because promissory? of him. Can he sign a promissory note? Because at the end of the day, all the shit you done did for me, who even gives a fuck if you give me that two bands bag? Who cares like, about two bands? You're in a house. Yeah. I You're in a house. You have saved right money. You're like, yeah. 
that's in your savings and y'all aren't married. But at the end of the day, this man has bent over backwards for you. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that once he gets back on his feet, he's going to continue to do the things that he's right. done for you before. So you're not even thinking in the long run, girl. Like, you really tripping. $2,000, that ain't nothing. You wilding, you. Yeah. A few thousand dollars. Even if it was more than $2,000, even if it was like five, over the course of time of the, the things that he's done for you, like, why are you tripping over some bread when you know he, like, when he got it, he give it. That's so, what I'm saying. I don't understand why I you feel tripping like over it. Arguing over money in a relationship, like, just have each other back, especially if he's proven himself and he's taking care of you and he's done what he's supposed to do for two years. I hate talking about money and I hate doing that, but you tripping. You're wrong. I agree. Am I wrong? Yes. And then it's like, if, you know what I mean? Like, help him out. Like, give him a little bread because oh, he done damn. did so much for you. But then if he don't get back on his feet, that's when look I'll give you this two thousand dollars but you got six months now, nigga now you knew it was a catch <laughs> exactly it's always a catch give him the money but hold on yeah, nigga yeah but if he don't get his shit back together you gotta do it right alright so next question it says hey ladies I came across y'all from y'all first time on 85 South and I've been hooked ever since keep it up and keep teaching us how to secure the bag I'm 24 with two kids let's start there I'm with my baby daddy though he is a great great father and a good man overall on good or bad terms he makes sure i keep money in my pocket and i appreciate it here's the problem we argue daily over small stuff we've had our problems like every couple but i've withdrawn from the relationship mentally i'm completely done in my head but i find myself staying so he can have a close relationship with his kids i don't want him to feel like i'm taking his kids if i leave because he gives off narcissistic manip manipulative vibes i don't know I know y'all don't have kids, but I need some big sister advice. What should I do? Please help me. Okay. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. You want to say something? Um, I just feel like any relationship that you in with anybody where y'all arguing every day is unhealthy. Yeah. So I would definitely like reevaluate the relationship and I probably would like take a break from me. I feel like this. When it comes to having kids, just because, like I said, y'all know I, my sister has kids. I love my nephews. And um, I know, like, I'm not ever putting my sister's business out there. But, you know, people go through things. Mm -hmm. So, being somebody that witnessed that, because, like, we don't have kids. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter what you're going through with somebody that y'all not getting along. Put the kids first. Just put the kids first. You don't have to be there for him to be there for the kids. Right. Y'all, go your separate ways because you're not happy. You can leave. You can split up with him. Just make sure you give him his kids so he can see his kids. It needs to be about the kids, period. Nothing else needs to be said. Because the thing is, too, it's like if you're staying with him just off the strength because you want him you don't to have be to... able to have a relationship with his kids, mm -hmm. but then y'all arguing every day, then you not happy. So it's like you're not really putting your child, your children in the best environment, mm -hmm. honestly, because what type of parent are you if you're not happy? Mm-hmm. I agree 100%. You know what I mean? How can you really be there for your kids in the way you need to when you're Unhappy. not in a good space mentally? So right. I just feel like, yeah, just because y'all have kids together, their history and all this shit don't mean nothing. Go out the door. You know what I mean? I would take a break from the situation. And if y'all meant to get back together, whatever the case may be, then maybe it'll happen one day. But if he's a good dad, he going to be there for your kids regardless. Whether y'all together or not, yeah. I agree. And then it's like, you young, girl. The type of man you're attracted to right now, you probably not you not probably you're not gonna be attracted to whenever you turn 30 like so live your life do what you do just make it about y'all's relationship needs to be about the kids only right i agree question three look at us giving good advice hey that's always mm -hmm. hey lex andrea i'm a huge fan i hate when they spell your name like that yeah me either because it's literally everywhere <laughs> d-r-e-a like they always Instagram, be like drea in the little caption when i hear post the video like <laughs> i don't understand but anyways <laughs> I'm a huge fan. I love how independent y'all are. Please keep it anonymous. My ex-boyfriend beat me up on a trip that we took a couple months ago. We were both drunk and he accused me of cheating. I got... I got on a flight that morning and left his ass. That was the first and last time. I went home with cuts, bruises, and rug burns. He continues to contact me from random texts and our numbers trying to get me back. He blames it on the alcohol. He seems genuinely sorry about what he did. I loved him so much, I thought he would be the father of my kids. Now I see him as a potential abuser. He did it once. Will he do it again? Can an abuser change? Not a potential abuser. He is. He is an abuser. Um, Leave it alone. Yeah. I agree. 
Because even if you cheated on him, I just I just sat and told the story earlier in the episode about how somebody had found out I was cheating on them, but he didn't put his hands on me. Right. Well, let me you know say this. I mean? I'll so say this. It's like, it's never no excuse. Even if he find out some shit like that, there ain't never no reason for no nigga to put never. his hands on you. And I'll say this. Coming from somebody who I've been in an abusive relationship before, I have been with somebody who put their hands on me. It don't get better. It does not get better. And you, you think that you love this person. This is the end all be all. Let me tell you something. If you love somebody, you ain't never going to put your hands on them. I don't care what anybody says. The smartest thing that you did was leave. Because now, when I look back on my situation that I was in, I was like, what the fuck were you thinking? Why the fuck did you stay for so long? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I feel like a lot of times women... We feel like, um, oh, he's sorry because those are the most manipulative people. They'll hurt you and they want to break you down and then they're going to start crying and make you feel like they're sorry. I don't care how much I've been drinking. I'm you, you don't do that to anybody. I mean, and people love to blame shit on alcohol, but alcohol be giving people liquid courage. Exactly. So I just be feeling like when you do certain shit, when you be drunk, bitch, that's really who you are. And he's not a potential abuser. He is an abuser. So you need to stop making excuses for him in your head because that's what I did for a long time. Stop making excuses for him, girl, because he not going to change. Move on. Let that shit be dead. Yeah, girl, you can find you another nigga to be your baby daddy. Period. Next question. My husband and I have been together for 17 years and married for 13. We have an awesome friendship, but recently experienced a low that really had me reevaluating what I want. We have been discussing a polyamory. <laughs> Why well, I couldn't say this shit? Polyamory. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Well, you were smart when I, I thought you were. Polyg I be always thinking polygamy. It's like polygamy relationships. Well, bitch, I, I can't pronounce it. I, I was asking But you. I guess maybe it's the same thing. All right. For about five <laughs> to six years and agreed in the last year to open our marriage. I connected with my lover and it's divine. Mm. A few months into it and now my husband no longer wants to keep the marriage open. In fact, he has said he cannot be with me as his wife if I want to continue the relationship with my lover. I'm devastated because I love my husband and also my lover. They are both intelligent, sexy, confident and wealthy men who I enjoy spending time with. I spend my time and energy at home and my family is my foundation, but I still want my lover. My husband and I have had ongoing conversations and we and we will restart counseling to address this. But it's hard because I feel like I want to live fully as my best self, a free woman, a wife, and a mother, and love who I want to love. I want my cake and eat it too. What else do you suppose, shoots, what else you supposed to do with cake in my Drea voice, honestly? <laughs> what should I do? You know what song was in my mind? I can be your weak. Lover. Really? I, okay, so first of all, let me say this. Men love an open relationship because they think they about to have all the pussy and they about to have all this. He didn't expect that you was going to get some good dick on the side. Ooh. That's what he wasn't ready for. Nah, y'all need counseling because you was you getting dick down on the side and the dick is good to you. So, my thing is, you need to have a conversation with your husband on why because y'all were discussing having an open relationship for five or six years. Mm -hmm. And y'all finally decide to open y'all's relationship. And now it's like, oh, wait, never mind. Because yeah. you went and got some pussy that wasn't good. Mm -hmm. And she went and got some dick that was great. I think a lot of men do that. They want to say, oh, I want to have an open relationship. But you're not thinking about the other side of it. And she was happy and you weren't. So the reason, let me tell you the real reason why he met. I disagree. Well, uh, let me just finish real quick. He didn't find what he was looking for when they kept it open. And she found what she was looking for when they kept it open. And he mad about it. I that's how I feel. I think he mad because it's a man and it's a man with his ego. That's all it is. Yeah. That's all I feel. I don't think it got nothing to do with him looking for whatever and not finding it. Like, I feel like if he wanted to have an open relationship, he definitely was getting what he wanted because he was fucking on other bitches. Yeah, but obviously not a bitch that was better than her. Because he I mean, in his feelings. I mean, yeah, but I feel like when you decide to have an open relationship, you're not necessarily, especially when you're married, I don't think he was looking for love with these other situations. No, but he was looking for something so, to satisfy him, and he wasn't and satisfied. And he probably did get it. Like, pussy is pussy, bitch. That's all it is. Pussy is only pussy, and I get it <laughs> So when I feel I like he definitely, you know what I mean, got what he wanted, but at mm. the end of the day, he's a man, mm. and you still his wife at the end of the day. So the fact that it could potentially be like, damn, you like this nigga more than you like me? 
Cause that did good to I think that's all it is. She said, him. I still want my love. And that's why he don't like that shit. He like, nah, we gotta dead this shit. Cause you wasn't never supposed to like these niggas more than you like me. <laughs> she be coming home like, dang. <laughs> right. So what do you suggest she do? Uh, I think that you should do whatever make you happy. Like if you want to be with the lover, leave your husband. But, but shit changes. Cause let me tell you something. This is coming from a serial cheater now. A lot of times, but they not cheating. He knows. Yeah, but sometimes the the thrill of knowing that like I don't belong to you is what keeps the excitement going up. I think up. the thrill of when it comes to cheating, the thrill of like the other people not knowing. Yeah, is what but it's me, not but... just not knowing. It's the the thrill of because I feel like a lot of people know like you know what the fuck I'm doing, but the thrill of knowing I'm really not supposed to be here right now. We really not because I'm pretty sure you and your lover be having conversations y'all not supposed to be having. It's How? beyond because it's be- an open relationship. But what I'm saying is it's different though. Like if we have an open relationship, that means we're fucking other people, hanging out with other people. She probably laid up with that nigga like, I love you. But that's, that's her not lover. in the terms. That's not in the terms. You're not supposed to love nobody else. See, when I think of an open relationship, I always think of like I'm open to do whatever I want with other people. It's not no boundaries. It's not like, oh, I could fuck you other have people, but draw- I can't lay up with them. Yeah, it's supposed to be boundaries though, because that's where things get messy. That's how this shit got messy, because they didn't draw their boundaries. Mm. So she's in love with another man. I'm in love. I watched Temptation I mean, the other day. Not- Tyler Perry, you wrong. We're gonna talk about that. <laughs> Temptation. Now the Woo. funny thing is, I was on Hulu. It's giving temptation. I was on Hulu the other day, and that video, that movie did come up, and I was like, "This movie was a hot ass mess." I had to watch it Truly. again because I'm not gonna lie though. It was a hot mess. I'm not gonna lie though. I would have been fucking. Why well, my dumb ass wanted to say ashtray, bitch? Wrong, <laughs> wrong, my bad, movie. wrong movie. <laughs> wrong movie. Wrong movie. But I'm not gonna lie though. I would have loved. Like he had her on Jess, but I wouldn't have been fucking him with no condom. Like that was dumb. When you married. When you're married, like See, some of y'all hoes be wild. You could have been on the private jets having a good time, but why didn't you keep the rubber on, gills, bitch? But yeah, bitch, why you keep the rubber on? Or at least maybe you can tell she. First. You can you can tell she ain't been on the PJ before. How she was acting, she bitch, was excited you can tell by them feet. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't know what was going on. Kim said, he "Really, her life tremendously." No, bitch. he he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. That's why he gave her that because <laughs> she was too thirsty for the life. Fucking crying. We're not even gonna get into that. But anyways, she girl, it's giving temptation. Be careful. Yeah. But also do what makes you happy. You know, don't be trapped. So Yeah. That's just be smart. Just you know? be smart. So yeah, if you want your question answered on the show, make sure you email us at askpoorminds at gmail.com. You ready for the song? This is a duet. We're gonna sing this together. You ready? Have we sang this before? Bro. I probably. know. Probably. Probably. I don't think so. I don't know why you want to sing this song. It's so good. Is it? It always reminds me of, um, <clears throat> what was the name of that movie? I know. Set it off. I know. Pinky, when you ready? Was, when Hun Blair Underwood was making love. What's it gonna be? Cause I can't pretend. Oh. Don't you wanna be more than friends? Hold me tight and no let go. Don't let go. could be more than just friends i know you think that if we move too soon it would all end her living misery when you're not around and i won't be satisfied to we taking those vows there'll be some love making heart aching soul shaking love love making heart aching ah. oh what's it gonna be cause i, I can't, can't pretend oh, oh, don't you wanna be more than friends hold me tight and don't let go don't let go you have the right to lose control don't let go you better sing that shit i'ma fast forward it mm-hmm. what <clears throat> running in and out my life and you got me so confused you gotta make a sacrifice somebody's gotta choose Bro. we can make it if we 
try for the sake of you and I. Together we can make it right. Ah. What's it gonna <laughs> be? <laughs> Cause I, you can't keep running out of my life, or out of my life, or out of my life. Oh, hits. It was hits that stick like grits. Hits so that for me, stick like fucking grits. Yeah, like that was about. <laughs> I told the you. The girls did that. I was feeling it. They did it. That did was it. in my heart. I, I see, that's why I let you have it. <laughs> oh, what's it gonna be? Yeah, it was about. <laughs> I used to always hit that home when I was young. Oh, what's it gonna be? Hey, cause I can't pretend. You gotta let her know. Oh, don't you wanna be more than friends? Who am I letting know this? Yo, nigga. A home at heart and no letting girl. I think he would be scared. Why? If I did that. Why? Because that was scary. That was not scary. It was. I don't let girl. You gotta do that and make them know you mean it. You look like Michael Jackson. You have the right to lose, can That's like the Michael Jackson move. <laughs> I, I, I've been waiting to perform that my whole life. <laughs> I, I, told y'all about the cheese. It's even Billy Jean. Don't let go. You have the right to lose, can you? Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. You have the right to lose, can you? I'm running in and out my life. Okay, okay, then, I can bro, go. I can go all day. I see. I love this. Minutes. I love this song. I've been waiting. I cannot believe we haven't sang that song before. I think we have sung it before. Well, I had. To we had to bring that can shit we back. Sing a Michael Jackson song next time. <laughs> you know. You know. Can I we, love- ooh, can we sing "Beat It"? Mm-hmm. But no, we gotta wait till it get cold because we can pull out the leather jacket. Oh, and you know I got my short wig still. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next week. Bye y'all. Bye. No wait, that was a thriller. Thriller is good too. But no, I like but beat, beat, but I beat, like beat it still, better than thriller. But he still had the jacket on and beat you it better, though. Run, you better do it. <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta warm up. Oh, she gonna be ready. It's a fucking competition, bitch. I be telling you, I'm coming for your ass, bitch. I'm coming for you. Oh shit, I'm crying. Stay woke, ho. Stay woke. <laughs> Oh my God, that was funny.